Have you ever wondered what's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Today we're diving deep into this fascinating world beneath the waves. The Mariana Trench is no ordinary underwater landscape, it's the deepest part of our planet's oceans, an abyss that plunges down to an astonishing 36,000 feet. That's nearly seven miles deep. Now let's pinpoint its location on the globe. Nestled in the western Pacific Ocean, it lies east of the Philippines. This trench isn't just a deep dark hole in the ocean, it's a marvel of geological formation and a testament to the powerful forces that shape our Earth. As we descend further into the depths of this discussion, we'll uncover the mysteries and history of the Mariana Trench, a place so deep that it can easily swallow up the entirety of Mount Everest. Now that we know what the Mariana Trench is, let's dive into its history. To understand what lies beneath, we must first delve into the past. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's oceans, wasn't always known to us. Its discovery can be traced back to the year 1875, during the pioneering Challenger expedition. This British voyage of scientific discovery, named after the HMS Challenger, was the first to record the extraordinary depths of the trench. Imagine the awe of the crew aboard the HMS Challenger, as their weighted sounding lines descended further and further into the unknown depths. The initial measurements they took estimated the trench to be around five miles deep, a figure that was absolutely astonishing at the time. But as we would learn, this was just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. As the years passed and technology advanced, more precise readings became possible. In the early 20th century, the advent of sonic depth finders allowed scientists to measure the ocean's depths by bouncing sound waves off the sea floor. The Mariana Trench was remeasured and its depth was found to be even more astounding than previously thought. Fast forward to the late 1950s and the U.S. vessel, the USS Vincennes, used precision depth gauges to calculate the trench's maximum depth. They arrived at a figure of nearly seven miles, a depth that remains the deepest known point in the world's oceans to this day. But the Mariana Trench isn't just a point on a map or a number on a depth gauge. It's a living, breathing part of our planet. It's a place where pressures are a thousand times that at sea level where light cannot penetrate and where life as we know it takes on strange and wonderful forms. With its discovery, the desire to explore this mysterious abyss grew. The Mariana Trench has since become a symbol of the uncharted and the unknown a testament to the human spirit's insatiable curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and so our journey into the depths continues. The Mariana Trench has always been a subject of fascination and fear. Our journey through time brings us to the year 1960 to the first successful descent into the Mariana Trench. Aboard the Bathyscaphe Trieste, a pioneering deep-sea submarine, were Jacques Picard, a Swiss oceanographer, and Don Walsh, a U.S. Navy lieutenant. This duo dared to venture where no one had gone before into the deepest abyss of the world's oceans. Their descent was a slow and methodical one taking nearly five hours. The pressure outside the vessel was an astounding eight tons per square inch, enough to crush most submarines like an aluminum can. But the Trieste was designed to withstand this immense pressure and it did so admirably. Upon reaching the trench's bottom, Picard and Walsh found themselves in a world of perpetual darkness nearly seven miles below the ocean's surface. They described seeing a flat, desolate plain of silt with small shrimp-like creatures scuttling about. Their observations, albeit brief, opened up a new realm of oceanographic study. Fast forward to the year 2012, and we find filmmaker James Cameron, known for his epic science fiction films, embarking on a similar journey. Cameron, a self-proclaimed explorer and adventurer, piloted a custom-built submersible called the Deep Sea Challenger into the Mariana Trench. His descent was a solo one, a testament to his courage and curiosity. During his three-hour exploration, Cameron collected samples from the trench floor and filmed his journey with 3D cameras, giving us a unique and breathtaking glimpse into this alien world. Despite the advancements in technology and knowledge, Cameron's descent was not without its challenges. The intense pressure, the risk of equipment failure, and the isolation were all factors he had to contend with. Yet he persevered, driven by the desire to shed light on the last unexplored frontier on Earth. These explorations, both the triumphant descent of Picard and Walsh, and the daring solo journey of Cameron, have provided invaluable insights into the Mariana Trench. They have revealed a world that, despite its inhospitable conditions, teems with life and mystery. From the darkest depths, these explorations have brought to light the resilience of life, 
the beauty of the unknown, and the indomitable spirit of human curiosity. Through their courage and determination, these explorers opened the door to understanding what truly lies at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Now the question we've all been waiting for, what is at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Plunging into the depths, we find ourselves in a world that is as alien as it is fascinating. The bottom of the Mariana Trench is a place of extreme conditions. Imagine, if you will, a place where the sun's rays never penetrate, a place of perpetual darkness. This is not the soft, comforting darkness of a quiet night, but a darkness as deep and as absolute as space itself. In this abyss, the pressure is immense, over a thousand times greater than at sea level. It's like having 50 jumbo jets piled on top of you. If you were to somehow find yourself there, you would be crushed instantly. And the cold? The cold is bone chilling. It hovers just a few degrees above freezing. Yet despite these harsh conditions, life finds a way. Yes, you heard that right. Life in all its tenacity and adaptability has managed to colonize even this inhospitable realm. Take for instance, the fangtooth fish. This creature is as terrifying as it sounds, armed with long, needle-like teeth and a body built to withstand the crushing pressure. It's not a giant, but in the world of the deep, it's a formidable predator. Then there are the giant amoebas. These single-celled organisms, known as xenophyophores, are among the largest cells known to science. They can reach sizes of up to four inches across. That's about the size of a teacup. These creatures feed on the detritus that filters down from above, a snowfall of organic material that forms their primary food source. And let's not forget the sea cucumbers. These slow-moving, soft-bodied creatures are the vacuum cleaners of the deep. They crawl along the sea floor, ingesting sediment and extracting the organic material. It's not a glamorous life, but it's a vital one, helping to keep the deep sea environment in balance. So, what's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? It's not just darkness and pressure, cold and desolation. It's a testament to the resilience of life, a showcase of evolutionary adaptability, a world of creatures as fascinating as they are bizarre. Despite the harsh conditions, life finds a way. So, we've journeyed to the depths of the Mariana Trench. This voyage has taken us through an extraordinary history and into a world far removed from our everyday experiences. We began with the discovery of the Mariana Trench, a geological marvel that plunges deeper into the earth than Mount Everest reaches into the sky. This underwater canyon nestled in the western Pacific Ocean was named after the nearby Mariana Islands themselves named after Queen Mariana of Austria. The trench has been a source of fascination and exploration for decades, drawing ambitious adventurers and curious scientists alike. We've recounted the daring expeditions that have ventured into this alien environment, from the first descents by the Bathyscaphe Trieste in the 1960s to the cutting-edge submersibles of the 21st century. These explorations have not only pushed the boundaries of human endurance and technological innovation, but have also expanded our understanding of life on Earth. Voyaging to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, we've discovered a realm teeming with life. Far from being a barren wasteland, the trench's depths are home to an array of remarkable creatures, from ghostly fish to luminescent jellyfish, and even robust microbes that thrive in the extreme pressures and temperatures. These organisms adapted to survive in conditions inhospitable to most life forms serve as a testament to the resilience of life and the extraordinary diversity of our planet. Yet as much as we've learned, the Mariana Trench remains largely a mystery. Its depths are a frontier still awaiting more thorough exploration and understanding. The importance of continued research and exploration cannot be overstated. Every descent into the trench's depths not only expands our knowledge, but also inspires us to question, to imagine, and to seek out the unknown. Who knows what other secrets this deep, dark world holds? Until next time, keep exploring.